Yat hey. My name is Patrick Willie, and for Native American Heritage Month, I danced at 27 schools. Let me back up a bit. November is Native American Heritage Month, and usually this is the time when schools get to their Native American curriculum. I wanted to volunteer my time dancing, presenting at as many schools as I could for November. First thing was planning how to do it. I knew what I wanted to do, so I got to it. I typed up flyers, printed out flyers. I went to the surrounding schools in my area. I asked to have them shared with the teachers. I posted the flyers in teachers' lounges. I sent emails. Next, I made a Facebook post. It received 59 shares. Next thing was to wait. Okay, so today I got eight voicemails, 23 text messages, three Facebook messages, and 450 emails. Just kidding, maybe only 10 of those are schools. <laughs> Every day I got five to 10 new Facebook messages, text messages, emails. Dear Patrick, we'd love for you to come to our school. Dear Patrick, we are at Suncrest Elementary. Dear Patrick, we heard about your service project. So many schools had reached out to me. I finally lined up all my schools, 27 schools in total. I attended school after school. Here we go. School number four for today. Oh, another school. Um, I think this one's for the entire school, but this one should be fun. I danced in libraries, gyms, auditoriums, commons areas, classrooms. My goal was to teach. I taught about costumes, a respect for all cultures, their family and where they're from as well. How there are 562 different tribes and all tribes are different. Not all tribes live in teepees. Only the tribes that moved around a lot that use the teepees because they could use the teepee kind of like a tent. I didn't only dance but I shared a story and with that story I shared a lesson. I talked about bullying, not fitting in at school, how to overcome bad days at school, I talked about things that all the kids can relate to to have a positive impact upon their lives. <laughs> so. I had everything bad happen that can happen in a presentation. No mic, no stereo, iPod died, iPod died halfway through a song while I was dancing, I forgot my shorts, I went to the wrong school, I double booked schools, school gave me the wrong address, a hoop went flying into the audience, everything, everything you can think, everything you can think, these are minor failures, these are, now success is failing time after time and not losing enthusiasm about your goal. Sometimes we may make a mistake, but we'll keep on going. Just like now, um, music stopped, but uh, we'll just keep on going and uh, the joy that I knew that I was bringing to these kids was worth it. To be able to share a message, to share uh, good lessons from the Native American culture with these kids to apply within their lives, uh, that was worth everything to me. If uh, you watch this hoop right here, right, if I put that positive energy into it, you'll notice that positive energy comes right back. I did this all without a car. I don't have a car. I love cycling and figured anywhere I need to go, I can bike there. I got rides from friends a few times. I took the bus twice. <laughs> One time I even took Uber. I got dressed at home, ordered the Uber, ran outside, and the expression on the Uber driver's face was hilarious. I'm pretty sure the Uber driver has never had a passenger like that. I even biked in the rain. I biked a total of 200 plus miles for November going to the different schools. I would pack my outfit into a bag, hop on my bike, and then I would go. On my way and uh, we got a flat tire. But we'll overcome this.
I taught between 3,500 to 4,000 kids. Uh, one of the greater things is I think these kids will even go and share what they've learned uh, with a family member or even a friend or with their parents and so uh, the number is a lot greater of what I've been able to do with sharing this culture with these kids. I think it's really neat because with Native American dancing especially like you always remember when you last saw it. I've heard stories of other people saying they remember the first time that they ever saw cultural dances at, at their school. They say if you're not having fun and enjoying the journey, then what's the point? I'm glad that all throughout the way that I was able to have fun. I was able to make the best of each situation and uh, uh, find joy in every time I got to dance and tell a story. Today is the 20th school, so I'm going to use 20 hoops, right? <laughs> that we still exist. Native Americans are 1% of the population of the United States, and some people think we still live in teepees. There are even some people who think there's some old village somewhere where us Native Americans still live that old way, and that's not true. For me, it's eliminating a lot of the stereotypes you see on TV, and that's one thing I want people to understand. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing! Thank you guys. Are you, you from Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> Are you from Hawaii? Kid, did you not just listen to what we just said? I